What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be taking a look at Turtle Beach's new XP7 official headset of the MLG. This headset is pretty much compatible with every single device including the mobile um, as well as it has customizable plates just like uh, any Astro headset out there. Inside this package contains pretty much you have a console interface that allows you to connect with the 360 or the PS3, uh, an audio control unit as well as the entire headset itself. Uh, on the side here we have basically a breakdown of what the control unit does and I'll get more into that later on. So let's go and open up this package. So opening up the box you can see that everything is in pretty much different compartments which is uh, very nicely organized. First thing out of the box is the audio control unit. This is pretty much the brains of the operation as you're allowed to adjust pretty much every single sound setting on that device. Next we have the headset itself as well as the console interface and that console interface allows you to pretty much have Dolby digital surround sound when you're gaming on your 360 or your PS3. As always there's always an instruction manual with a bunch of crap that no one really cares about and the cables and accessories that go along with the headset. In the instruction manual package it pretty much gives you everything that you have seen before. You have a warranty that lasts about a year. Um, you have your Turtle Beach stickers. You can place that on your laptop or anywhere. This is the product guide and pretty much a, a quick start guide. Taking out the audio unit. Oh, it's nicely foam wrapped. Um, as well as I think they include a reference card for you to pretty much um, figure out all the different kind of things that you can do with this unit. Getting a closer look at the unit, pretty much everything but the knob and the sides are touch base. And um, on the top it allows you to control your speaker angles, your surround sound, your mic, the Dolby Digital, as well as the game volume. And if you press the knob down, that's going to mute all the sound. On the side here we have our mode switcher as well as our chat volume dial. On the bottom of the device you have your auxiliary input for sound mixing with a music player your headset jack and your Xbox chat input. On the back they have a clip that allows you to pretty much mount the device anywhere you like. Moving on to the left you have your power switch, your mic monitor and your auxiliary volume control. On the end we have a 9 pin connector for the console interface and the USB to power on the unit. Opening up the cables and accessories box there's absolutely so many cables and I'm not gonna go through all of them. Um, but pretty much there's about 9 cables that allow you to hook up your device to all the systems. Getting to the main event, this is what you all have been waiting for. The headset right off the bat, let me say that the build quality is absolutely um, a lot better than many many other headsets that I've seen. And they are 50mm speakers with memory foam noise isolation. Two things I like about the XP7 is that they do fold flat and they come with leather ear cups and that allows for a much better noise cancellation. The only thing that I wish they had at this price point would be switchable con ear cups. On the top here you have the Turtle Beach branding, pretty much standard on all other headsets that you see from Turtle Beach. The stretch of this model is pretty flexible so it should fit different uh, head sizes. On the side here we have removable speaker tags, much like how Astro does it with their A40s. And you can just simply go onto their website and customize a pair um, that you want and then just replace these standard ones. It's always nice for a headset to be personalized according to your liking. One thing that they have done is including a removable mic as opposed to one that pivots. And this is basically because of having versatility across all platforms. And when you want to have it on the go, you don't really want a huge mic dangling um, when you're listening to your iPod or your music player. The mic itself is just your basic single directional mic with uh, background noise cancellation. Here we have the console interface that pretty much allows the Dolby Digital surround sound. Um, on the front, we have the USB output as well as a 9-pin connector to the headset. And on the back, we have an auxiliary input, uh, one USB input, a digital input, and a digital loop through. Thank you for checking out Asian Devices' unboxing of the XP7 tournament grade gaming headset. 
If you guys like what you saw, please like and subscribe to the channel because it does help us out so much. Peace! What's up guys, you're watching Alex Central and today we're going to do the Mac Mini unboxing. So right off the bat, this comes fully equipped with Thunderbolt high speed IO, a dual core i5 processor and their OS X Lion. Now Apple has a really nice simplistic designs to all their products which I like really much about it. 